Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is East 6. Last time we went, well, before we went through the passage, we saved Isha from a nice wandering calamity. And then we went through the passage to get to the other side, to Kanan Island. So, today we're gonna explore this island and if I'm correct, we are heading towards a town. A town where all the Eresians live. And there it is, the Port Remorse. And uh, just like uh, they said, they used up a lot of stones they found in the ruins from the Redden's sacred ruins. So yeah. So let's uh, check out our surroundings, see what we can find. And like Ord asked us to, let's keep an eye out for some mystic mirror and maybe some other uh, Redden people. Interesting sword you got there. <laughs> I get it. I guess these orcs taking quite a liking to you. Hmm? Me? I'm a redder. Isn't it obvious? If we're being honest though, the tribe isn't all that fond of me. Well, you are living with the Asterians and they do not like them. I think it's self-explanatory. Yes. Welcome. Oh, I haven't seen you around before. Are you new here? You must have been through a lot. Make yourself comfortable here, okay? My ship, my cargo, my pride as a Roman merchant. And now I'm stranded here with no way to get off these islands. Huh, my life's over. Well, at least uh, we as Adol at least are trying to make the most of it. <laughs> are you a new member of our dear community? My name is August. As you can see, I am a wandering mistral. Oh my, the sword you have is an unusual one. A red-haired swordsman carrying an MLS blade? Hmm... I can feel a song coming on already. A song about Adel the Red. This is a really nice looking inn. And I've said it before, but I do love the graphics of this game. Oh, you must be new here. Welcome to my humble establishment. You must have been through some rough times recently to have ended up here. Hmm, a white mirror? No, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I've never heard of such a thing. If it concerns Doretta, it may be worth asking the professor. He lives in the woods house on the southern end of town. Alright, we already got a lead. <laughs> and of course, I'm a perfect adventurer. I can find out everything. Oh, your name was Adol, was it not? Wasting no time in coming to see Master Baslan, I see. He's been expecting you. Welcome to Baslan Trading Company. I hope that you enjoy your visit. Oh, you must be the one Lloyd was talking uh, about. My name is Maple. I'm a maid who works here at the mansion. I assume you were a shipwreck too? It's not hard to figure out. Everyone in town came here in the same way. I'm sure you get along here just fine. Yeah, but I want some shop and maybe a blacksmith for my weapon. Because I collected a lot of gems. My, what a magnificent red hair. So, you must be the newcomer that Lloyd mentioned. The name's Baslam. I'm a merchant from Altago. I was stranded here about 10 years ago or so. And I've been working on expanding the town ever since. One might even say, I'm the most important man in Rimorch. <laughs> Surprised? Well, how would you return? How did you get here, young man? Edel explained everything that had happened to him since he washed up at Katara Island. Oh, you ended up on Katara, did you? I'll be blunt. I can't stand those Redda. Especially Chief Ord, the stubborn old mule. He grumbles about every little thing. Stop destroying the ruins. Stop cutting down all the trees. What's the problem with wanting to make our town bigger and more pleasant to live in? You want a better life? You have to put in the hard work and creativity necessary to get it. That's the way a merchant needs to live. No, if you ask me, that's the way everyone needs to live. Well, he's pretty clear on what his agenda is. Ooh, I bet this is his secret stash. Let's have a look around. Nice view of the big old town. It's like misty downstairs because we're looking from such a big way up. Alright. 
Well, we're on the search for the professor. But we could explore the entire town first, of course. Because there has to be a shop in here. And maybe even a blacksmith. Ooh, look at that. Nicely small piece of non-rendered background. Love it. It's probably a place where we, don't, we are not allowed to see just yet. <laughs> Alright, let's get down to business. Oh, you are new around here. You must have had it rough. <laughs> Poor kid. Everyone here came from the outside, the great vortex. Newcomers are always welcome. Take it easy until you settle in. Uh, what did I ever do to deserve running a street stall in this heat? My sister decided she wanted to run a shop next to uh, here on her own, so she shooed me out. Alright, what do you have? Let's sell uh, some stuff. Let's see what we can buy. Uh, I could probably buy some more now that I've sold the piece. Even more recovery with the wild fowl meat. A potion for even more Oreo fruit. If it tastes like an Oreo, you <laughs> can give me a bunch. The more in shroom for even more status effects that can be healed. So many usable items. Alright, good to know. Uh, I'm not gonna get them until I know. I need them, and 8500 is a lot of money for 300 HP, and I'm not even there yet. I'm sure it's just that he has everything in store, even for throughout the entirety of the game. Let's go to Roy's show as well. Oh, I haven't seen you here before. Are you a new arrival that Lloyd was talking about? My name is Rose. I'm part of the Bethlehem Trading Company. To tell you the truth though, I prefer it if I weren't working on that filthy old man and his hideous mustache. Oh, and the kid one in the street still outside is my younger brother, Croix. Nice to meet you, new guy. Nice to meet you too. Love your hair. Uh, you're an adventurer, aren't you? Hop to it then. Buy something. I must have something you want. You can pay with Eurasian money too. Well, don't know if what you have is something... I can buy here. Uh, let's see. Damn. Well, this does feel like really <laughs> like an uh, East type game. Having equipment that you could technically buy if you had the money, but it's way too early to do so. Because I'd love to have a breastplate of 32 uh, defense points. But let's uh, get the ring mail and the round shield first. And does we do have at least enough money for that? Let's keep the rest of the money for blacksmithing, maybe? I don't know if you need to pay for that with, together with the gem. And the curse? I have to see if uh, it comes often or not, and if we have enough cash. Because the thing is, with accessories, I love having stat-increasing accessories. But let's be honest, something that prevents certain statuses is a lot more valuable than that. Because if you're in an area, you get a lot of pelted with poison, you want something to negate that poison so you don't have to worry about it. That's why I like it. So if we have the cash, we will buy it, but that's definitely not now. Alright, let's uh, look ahead. Oh, you new here? So, you got washed up too. Still, you should be glad you got away with your life after ending up in the Vortex. The name is Ennis. I'm a fisherwoman. It's gonna be a pain getting used to life here at first, but we're all in this together, yeah? Mm, yeah, if we do what Baslan wants us to. That's at least how it feels like. Let's see how it looks on top. If the background is still not rendered. Ooh, no, this is directly over town. A lot better. Okay, this definitely looks like a redden building. Oh, would you look at that? I never thought the day would come when Chief Ord would entrust his blade to an Eurasian. My name is Leaf. I'm a crosswoman who works with Emilus. Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt. 
If you've ordered things that highly of you, then I suppose I can help you however I'm able. Using the facilities in this forge, I'll be able to temper your MLS sword for you. Tempering it will allow me to draw out its latent abilities, so you can use them in combat. In return, however, you're going to need to find the ammo necessary for tempering it yourself. Surely, your male pride will let me do all the work now, hmm? Well, I'm, I'm absolutely fine with that. Let's see. Emelus swords become stronger the more they're tempered. Getting the power of the spirits in the sword and then releasing it allows you to unleash powerful attacks. The damage dealt by those attacks, as well as their effects, evolve the more the sword is tempered. Mind you, there's a limit to how much you can temper any sword. Alright, the max level. Oh, we'll see what, what it is. I'm 100% sure I can't max it out right now. Okay, so we need 5 emblems. No, not bad, definitely gonna do that. Trying 20. points extra enables the use of maelstrom sword magic and i don't know if i understood it correctly but i think you said that if we attack we build up power and then we can unleash it unleash it as magic we'll figure it out it's going to be key i think uh 13 definitely 34 sharpened the sword okay so it does really say what the upgrade actually does uh, 34 is more than what I have. I'm fine with that. We can come back as soon as we have more. And I wonder, we did see two other swords in the picture, in the passage uh, towards here. I'm pretty sure we're gonna use uh, the same type of uh, crystal as well. But uh, we'll keep it in mind. Pickards, I remember those. Hmm, I'm a member of the trading company too, you know. So why must I be the one as I be relegated to Pickard duty? What a travesty. Even criminals, I say. Well, if you're being that obnoxious, you are pretty right there doing Pickard duties. We haven't met before, have we? Does that mean you come from the outside? Yes, it does. Oh, you must be... Hmm, pardon me. I haven't the faintest idea who you are. Oh, you're a new arrival. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you then. Ah, most of them are pretty nice so far. Okay, let's not push down all the equipment to the ground. Ah, the professor. Oh, you're back. That took you longer than I expected. You may be a redder, but you've still got ways to go before you can become a man. Spending too long on those monster infested planes is just asking for trouble. I, I can't believe my eyes. Am I dreaming? No. I would recognize that hair of yours anywhere. I don't suppose you remember me, do you, Edel? I am Rabba. You saved me from Darn Tower six years ago. He was in previous East games? Because recently I did play uh, East 1, 2 and 3 with a good friend of mine. Not on stream, just uh, for the fun of it. And there was Darn Tower in that. Oh, now I really need to replay that for myself. I remember the name Rabba. <laughs> I knew that would jock your memory. But how did you end up here of all places? Did that adventurous spirit of yours get the better of you and make you dive straight into the vortex? Edel explained everything that had happened over the course of his journey to Rabba. Ah, so you fell off a pirate ship after getting attacked by a Roman fleet, did you? It's a miracle you made it here alive. Still, I'm amazed at how quickly Chief Ord accepted you. <laughs> it looks like you haven't changed at all. It warms my good old heart to hear that. But you must be having plenty of questions. I know you, and that boundless curiosity of yours is not so easily sated. If there's anything I can answer for you, be sure to let me know. Huh. Why the hell not? As you know, I'm a scholar who studies ancient civilizations. 
That was how I come to study the Kingdom of East on Asteria 2. After all the trouble in Asteria come to an end, I set out in search for more ancient mysteries. And as I read through ancient records, I found myself drawn to the tales of the Vortex of Canaan. Luckily for me, I found a noble with too much time on his hand and interested in solving the Vortex's mystery. I had the opportunity to join him on his ship setting out for the Vortex, but that was when our luck just ran out. Just as we reached it, we had lost control of the ship, we were drawn in, unable to break free. Through a strange twist of fate, I was the only one who survived. The ship itself, well, that was destroyed. That's why I've been staying here, studying the ruins in the area. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> Alright, let's get through it. I see. So an ancient mirror disappeared from Katara Island. I've been shown the mirror of Zeme by the priestess of Katara once before. It is a mirror of white emalas, with a divine aura about it. Hmm. Well, I'm not one to refuse a request from Chief Ward. I'll see what I can find out. Perhaps Ur might have heard something about it too. I think Ur is family to Ord, isn't he? <laughs> I first met him about two years ago. At the time, the Redan village was being ravaged by an endemic disease brought by a new arrival to the island. A number of the villagers caught it and fell ill. Chief Ord's son was one of them. Fortunately, I happened to know the cure for the disease, so I went to the village and treated it for them. I've been on good terms with the chief ever since. I can't say I ever pictured his son would be, want to become an apprentice of mine, though. Okay, so the other person Chief Ord was talking about, because he said there was only one other Asterian he could tolerate, for a better word. And I think that's Rabba. Ur is the Chief's only son and currently my apprentice. He's ever the inquisitive one, fascinated by the world outside these islands. He's out at the moment, but. I will be happy to introduce him to you when he returns. He's out gathering medicinal herbs in the northern plains of our hall. Although, he really should have been back by now. I hope he hasn't gone wandering somewhere dangerous again. I feel like an underlying request of... Uh, go fetch him for me. <laughs> I think we should do that after this. Uh, the Vortex is found in the far west ocean, distorting currents and drawing in any ship making its way westward. It's a natural phenomena far more dangerous than the storm wall that arose off the shore of Asteria. No one knows how the Great Vortex first appeared, or why it has existed since ancient times. But my god tells me that the truth lies somewhere in the ruins of these islands. Give me the ruins. The Kanan Islands are a treasure trove of ancient ruins. The mythos path which you came through to get here is but one of them. The scholarly value of the murals in there, likely created by Reddens, cannot be stressed enough. There are also ruins we've been unable to visit, such as the Zemet Island or Windseeker Heights in Northwest Katara. These islands are truly like heaven to scholars like myself. Oh, and there are what appears to be ancient ruins on Kanan Island itself as well. North of Kanan Plains is a mountain called Grana Valis. And at its peak is a shrine built ages ago to enshrine a sword of some kind. I want that sword. Because <laughs> maybe it's a red one and that will open up the door in the Mythos path. Alas, climbing that mountain is far too ar arduous for my weary bone, so I can only rely on hearsay. Right. This town was built by those who, by some miracle, managed to survive being drawn into the vortex of Canaan. Originally, it was a simple makeshift town, built from wreckage that washed up. It is thanks to the ingenuity of an Altinian merchant who goes by Beslan that it has become the town you see today. You said Dogi was left behind on that pirate ship? Hm. I'll be honest, I'm a little worried about him. I've always felt greatly indebted to him for helping me escape from Darm Tower. I do hope he's alright. Oh, so I'm guessing that he was the person that doggy broke out when he punched through that wall in the prison where we too were help captive there i heard he was 
Once a merchant from Otago, along the northern shores of Africa. I'm sure we've noticed that most of the buildings here are made of stone. Have you ever wondered where it all came from? The answer is simple. From destroying ruins built by Reda ancestors and repurposing it... The rubble. Two buildings. I'm sure you can imagine how unhappy the Reda chief has been about that. One could say Baslan is the most of the reason the people of this town and the Reda don't get along so well anymore. Very logical. Because uh, destroying ancient ruins just for your own benefit, it's a very, very human thing to do and I hate it. <laughs> but this wooden shack is good enough, isn't it? Oh, before you go, be sure to take this with you. Map of Canaan. This is a map of Canaan Island that I've spent the last three years creating. Its precise accuracy leaves something to be desired, but it should help you get your bearings straight at least. I hope it will be of use to you. Oh, I'm sure it will. Is there now a button we can use for that? Or is it amongst my menu items? Ah, that's how we can look at it. Okay, so Katara, Kanan, and a very small island is Zemet Sanctum. And then I think that's probably the uh, holy place for them. Alright. One more place to check out before we head out to the Northern Plains. As by a subtle request from our old friend. Lots of crap that washed ashore. Well, and I mean it in the most positive way, of course, because this, this crap can be repurposed to do uh, wonderful things. Like bows to go out fishing, get more supplies. But yeah, let's have a little look around, around the Northern Plains. With a little bit of luck, maybe we can find that urchid. Having a quick save, never hurt anyone. Because who knows, I might get killed by the first few enemies. Oh, wolves! Damn, I thought it was raptors. Lots more uh, ammo, I'm very happy with that. Because I do plan to grind out some more money and gems, uh, of course. I will try not to forget uh, to upgrade while you're all here, of course. Because uh, seeing what we get for upgrading them is, of course, the pleasure of uh, building out your weapons. Yeah, these ones are a lot better to fight with against uh, than those bugs in the passage. Those really, really were hard. I don't mind enemies being hard, but uh, they really resisted a lot. Oh, what the hell? Oh, oh whoa, whoa, those, those were strong. Okay, I'm too weak against those just yet. Since we are just looking around, it's fine just to avoid them for a bit. Obtained a wildfowl meat. Oh, that's very, very high tier uh, healing item. So I'm thinking of going back to the main plane, also seeing as the amount of damage they're doing. And of course, try to avoid uh, getting hit by those rhinoceros that are being dropped down as bombs. I do believe that uh, what we need, what we need to find, will probably be on this plane. Ooh, better be careful. With the amount of damage they do, it can go south really fast. And with a few extra levels that uh, we can grind between the episodes, we can get that nice little buffer that we need. At least to survive, 
and of course gaining some more cash for better items. Because we, of course we're getting more money from these ones as well. And who knows? Maybe we can get the new shield or armor set that we saw at the store, but we couldn't afford. So yeah. I think I'm back at the beginning again. Okay, I went full circle. I'm gonna go straight to the top. Yeah, and the thing I always like about these games, after playing, of course, East uh, 8, you can really feel um, the level ups. So you see a dramatic drop in your uh, hit uh, damage that you get uh, against yourself, and of course, the damage that you do against enemies. And you can feel when you are way too far ahead, because enemies will knock you silly. Oh, that really looked like a poison enemy. Because we've got a bridge there. I'm trying to look uh, around first before heading on that bridge. Just to make sure I see everything. And uh, of course... A noticeable uh, watcher has already seen we have more than enough to upgrade our sword to the next level which will of course make it a lot easier to roam about here Ooh, 31 that's too much too much yeah all right let's go over the bridge after that, we're gonna probably make our way back to the village and upgrade our sword as the last action for this episode. Unless we come across the one person we're looking for. Oh, I think that the electricity he has on his face is what's uh, doing me in, isn't it? So I need some lightning protection. Alright, so we can go up and we have another way when we go down, so... Alright. Let's see if we can have a quick look without being attacked by the bees. Or at least get uh, decommissioned uh, by them. A quick look. Ah, more bees. More bees! And bees are foes to be reckoned with. So yeah, having a little bit of a grinding session between this episode and the next one will definitely help with my security issues right now. So, so let's get back to town. They're chasing me! Yeah, I could definitely uh, defeat them, but uh, I don't want to risk... Uh, Getting killed by those just yet. Alright, so next time, we're gonna try and uh, find Little Ur on the Northern Plains. And of course, continue our search for the White Mirror. Uh, I have a temper, but I want that to imbued in my sword. And in between the episode, I'm gonna see if I can figure out um, how the mill stream actually works. Okay, so we've got a wind elemental in our blade, so better against enemies that are weak against wind. And we still have the mill stream level one. I'm pretty sure if we can do it right now, I'll figure it out. And next time, I will show you how that works. All right, so for now, I'm gonna leave it here in this middle of a pigsty town. I mean, nice little town. And like I said, next time we're going out there and finding her. But until then, I wish you a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit those buttons. I would love it. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.